back is Shaxtron with another video review and this time we have the Mighty Max Doom Zone set. This is Palace of Poison. This was one of my favorite sets when I had one when I was a kid but sadly most of my Mighty Max toys were either gave away or sold at a garage sale but one of my friends of mine uh, decided to buy me one after I mentioned them I wanted to start collecting them again so uh, this is one of my first uh, complete ones to add to my new collection. But anyways, to get on to the review, as you can see, it's a little playset with a coiled snake. I really like the sculpt on it. Nice triangular scales that are like a copperish, like deep orange color. Well, not really copper, more like a mustard color, but then there's dark green scales in the middle. Then here's the Mighty Max logo right here. Then here's its rattler. Or is it? And then it's green eyes. And then black on the top. And on the bottom, it says Blue Board Toys. I mean, Blue Bird Toys. 1992. Anyways, what you want to do to open the set is you take the mouth of the snake and lift up, like so. And then you grab right here and pull apart. But as you can see, there's a sticker right here. Like a little dig site with a rope, a shovel, a pick, and then two skeletons, and then some rocks and broken bones. I'll zoom in on that for you, which is pretty cool. And then the snake does have fangs. But anyways, let's get on to the set. Open it up. Move this out of the way. And as you can see, there's a gigantic scorpion. Let's put it off to the side. And then there's Mighty Max. And then there's a lot of snakes in here. A little sarcophagus. I don't think it opens. I mean, it's actually, no, it does. Can't remember if it did or not. But it opens up, and there's. Looks like gold. Then there's a skeleton right next to it. And I think that's the entrance. And then there's another skeleton. Then on the top here, there's some more skeletons, some snakes, some hieroglyphics. Um, then there's a dead, like pharaoh, or statue of Anubis or something. Not sure exactly what that is. Then there's a jar. Some more snakes in the back. And there's this black vine, and then here's a sarcophagus right here, and this does open up, if I can get it to open, come on, I mean, it opens the other way, yep, I'm grabbing it the wrong way, it opens up like this, come on, and there's a mummy in it, which is pretty cool, there's a little Messed up paint on the eyes though, but that's fine. Make sure you guys get a good look at it. But anyways, that goes back right in there. And my cat will not stop scratching. Stop. But anyways, what you want to do to complete the set is take this vine, take the snake head, open up the mouth, and then hook it like so, and there you go, there's a completed playset, so you guys can play with it, if you have your own that is, come on, such a B word to get in there, but anyways, there you go, and the other two figures that come with the set is Mighty Max, so focus, come on, On. There we go. There's Mighty Max. Come back on his little spots. And then the Scorpion. Can't really see the detail on this. There is no articulation. The tail doesn't move. It's just a figure. I do have a broken one of these because when I was a kid I thought the tail moved and I broke it. So if you have this set, do not move the tail. Anyways. And to put it back together, 
unhook the vine, put the scorpion on its base, and knocking Mighty Max over in the process. Like so. Put that up in there. Come on. That was such a hassle to get open. No, it's not closing. This one's hard to close. My max has to go in a certain way or he does not stay. Come on. There you go. I think I have to wrap it up there. Yep, there you go. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, close it up, and there you go. Thank you for watching my Mighty Max Palace of Poison Doom Zone review. Stay tuned for more Mighty Max reviews and other reviews. Later, guys.